welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Monique. And I'm Naveen, and today we're going to be playing the one to four player game Gloomhaven Jaws of the Line, designed by Isaac Childress and published by Cephala Fair Games, who helped sponsor this video. If you're interested in learning how to play this game, Rodney's made a tutorial video for it, which we've linked in the description below. And if you'd like to see other gameplay videos like this, we have our own channel called Before You Play, where we make more of them, which is also linked in the description. Now, before we begin, if you can all do us a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case you make any mistakes, we can add those corrections there. We're gonna try our best not to have to use them. I think we're ready to begin. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we are all set up here for our two-player game of Gloomhaven Jaws mm. of the Lion, mm. and welcome to the site of the massive stench. The stinkiness <laughs> is here. Yes, we are doing scenario five today, which includes this long hallway that culminates in the boss, the blood tumor, yes. who we will be meeting shortly, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, yes. <laughs> and so today I'm going to be playing as a demolitionist, mm -hmm. and uh, so I have a starting health of eight, and I'm going to be starting right here. Yes, I am uh, Hatchet. I also have a starting health of 8, and I'm going to start here. And the reason why I'm starting here is because most of my attack from my deck is range weapons, so I'd rather have you kind of lead the charge. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going in to the, uh, the front line here. Yes. Uh, and so we're starting in this first room that only consists of two uh, enemies so far. We have the two base level uh, chaos demons, and so as soon as we go through this door, then we will meet some more. Now, before we get started, we do want to mention that today we are going to be playing scenario five of the tutorial. Mm -hmm. So even though it is a part of the tutorial, it still contains spoilers, but just from that scenario. Right. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to begin? I, yes, I am. I definitely, because it's a long hallway, I need yes. to get moving. Okay. Uh, I have range, so I'm basically going to try to hit this guy with some level of range uh, and then move. Basically. Okay. Yeah. I would like to end up somewhere really close to this, this enemy so that I can uh, hit them against a wall. Okay, sorts. you're trying to okay. wall them up, huh? So just so you know, that's my plan. Okay, sounds good. Ready? Right. Yes. Reveal. 21. 22. 22. Wow, one off. Okay. okay. So I'm going to fan it out just like this. I'm going to move my health bar yes, over same. to the side so that we have some room. Okay. Go. And so because we only have Chaos Demons here, then let's flip over the top of their card, which 13. is... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shoot. I wasn't expecting them to go first. Dang. Um, that stinks, but That's we have to reorder good. the initiative order. Looks like Chaos Demons are going first. Yeah. I'm going last? That's going last. terrible. Yeah, dang. Wow. Okay, wow. <laughs> We're shocked. That's not good. <laughs> I mean, let's do it. Okay. So the Chaos Demon over here is going to go first because this is number two. Yeah. And it looks like they're going to move for, a minus, for less, for one less. Yeah, movement. so they have a base movement of three, minus one because of the modifier on this card. So they're going to move for two. So they're going to move one, two, right next to you. Fantastic. Which is bad. <laughs> really bad. And then I'm going to get attacked by a baseline of three with no modifier, basically. So okay. they're going to attack me for three. Would you care to do the honors? <sighs> Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, okay. Minus one. Minus one. Okay. So, okay. okay. They hit you for two. I'll take that. So I have uh, six health now. Right. And then uh, if we had the ice element that was charged, then they would be able to spend it in order to deal two extra damage whenever uh, one of us attacks them. But yep. since none of the elements are charged, thankfully, then nothing nothing happens. That, that's it. They do have a muddle, though, however. Oh. And so, Monique, you have been muddled. Oh, that's a shame. Yes. Oh my gosh, that stinks. Okay, so I'm muddled, <laughs> which means I'm going to be at a disadvantage until the end of my next turn. Yes. Uh, at least it's temporary. Right. So now we have this second Chaos Demon who needs to move. So they're going to move also for two, and they're just going to move closer, oops, to the both of us. Yep, one, one two. two. No attacks, uh, thankfully, since they are too far away. All my moving is going to be pretty much limited here, so... So can you just attack them from where you are? So wh what I could do is I, I could invert what I was going to do. I was going to try to attack this one okay, and then use this movement, but I might invert it now. So I might use the center mass. And tell me what you think about this. It says I get to move three and then push uh, an adjacent enemy. Unfortunately, I don't think I can now that I think about it because it's not yeah. adjacent to me. So and I might just have to forego moving altogether. The and issue is you can't move past the Chaos Demon. Exactly. So the only other way around it is for you to move past these traps. Which I don't want those. And you're going to get a double a double uh, condition here, yeah, double negative happen. condition. So 
It looks like it's a poison and a muddle, so I don't know if that's worth it to you. You know what? I, I might just do the top attack. It's my strongest attack that I have in play, and then honestly, with the second card, I, I might just forgo all movement because of what, what's going on with me. So I'm just going to waste a turn, uh, honestly. I'm just going to attack for three with a range that I have. This is in sight. Okay. So let's just go ahead and pull. Okay, so no modifier, so it's going to be a three attack to that Chaos Demon. Beautiful, and the Chaos Demon has a... Health of, is it eight. eight? Yeah, eight. Okay, so five more. So five. If you can deal five. I'm going to try to do something. Are you done with your turn? Uh, yeah, uh, so I'm not going to move. So these are both out for me. Okay. And I need to figure out where I'm going to keep this. I'll probably just keep this up here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so then it goes to me, and I am going to have to invert my cards as well. I was kind of counting on the Chaos Demon staying there against the wall. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my 1-2 punch, and I'm going to do the top half here. It's a double attack. I can first start with a attack value of 2. Okay. So I'm going to attack them for 2, and it is melee, so we're fine here, but I'm going to disadvantage. Right. So I have to draw both. Okay. Zero, ah. Okay. So it's going to be, unfortunately, I have to take the, the lesser. The lesser, yeah. So I'm going to hit them for two. Okay, so they're at five uh, five hits to their eight total. Okay, and then I have a second hit with the same card that gives me an attack of one. Ooh. So I'm going to hit them for one, and same thing, it's a Come disadvantage. On. Please. Stay zero. Okay. So, Perfect. So for one. So that's a one hit. How much more damage do we need? We need two more, so they're at six perfect. total. Perfect. This is perfect, because... Uh, since it was the same target that I attacked uh, for both of those hits, I'm allowed to add a push of up to two. Nice. I muddle them, okay. and I gain one experience. <laughs> so let me take that experience right now. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and muddle them, but I think I'm going to end up uh, being able to defeat this this enemy anyway. Right, so, I'll just put it out there. So I'm going to do the, the push of two spaces. I'm going to push them back to where they were, one, right two. there against okay. the wall. And then, now that the one-two punch is done, I'm going to do my crushing weight, the bottom half here, which allows me to do a move for two. Okay. So, one, two. And then, um, it says, one adjacent enemy that is adjacent to a wall suffers two damage. So, nice. this is not an attack. This is non-negotiable. They are suffering two damage. They just take two hits. Take okay. two hits. So, nice. I believe that's it then. Yeah, that's it. So, six to eight. Perfect. Uh, this muddle is no longer in use. And now, we just destroyed that chaos demon. One chaos demon down. And when that happens, you drop a coin where they lay... Perfect. Okay. I don't know that I'm going to loot that coin. <laughs> I think I'm just going to probably sure. ignore it. But now my cards get discarded, and we are ready to begin again. So we nice. have one more Chaos Demon in this room. Uh, we need you to come to come this way. I, I got blocked in there. Uh, yeah, my <laughs> yeah. movement was useless, that unfortunately. Didn't really go as planned. Yeah. So. Uh, so so come come up as, as quickly as you can, and sure. then we'll we'll try to deal with that. Okay, that perfect. Chaos Demon. Yep. Okay, ready? Yes. All right, I have chosen. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. One, two, three. 30. 20. 20. Okay, so okay. it's going to be you. Well, let's see what we have with the Chaos Demon. Ready? No. 41. 41. That's better. Okay, so there in the oh, back. That you is so much better. <laughs> out in front. Yeah, it is better. Perfect. Okay, so this could this could work, right? Uh, I would like to rid the world of this Chaos Demon yeah, me right too. now. So I'm going to do my best to do what I can. Okay. And so I'm going to start with this card right here. No, sorry, I'm going to start with this card. So this is the big one, and I'm going to be using it for its bottom action, which is movement of three. So okay. one, two, three, cozying up right there next to the Chaos Demon. Sure. Um, oh, and I'm no longer muddled. Oh, yeah. Let's, nice. let's remove that. Yes, very important. Don't want to forget that. Uh, and then this action lets me destroy an adjacent obstacle, which is going to be this spot right here. So mm -hmm. may, may I please have a destruction token? Very nice. Thank you. And okay. in doing so, I gain one experience. So that's nice. And I get to perform a bless. So I get to introduce a, a nice uh, bless card into my my modifier deck awesome. here. So you get a 2x, so potentially. We're stacking it, hopefully, so that uh, it can do some nice things for mm -hmm. us when it comes time to get to uh, battling the blood tumor. All right, so we are now stacked. And then I'm going to do uh, the top action here on this card, which is knock out the support. It is a melee attack of three. So I'm going to attack this uh, Chaos Demon. Ready? Three. Awesome. Nice. So that's a six attack. Six, six three damage. Times two. Perfect. And that they, is perfect. They need eight total. Okay. So they just need two more damage. Uh, yes. So I think, I think I could take them out. Well, I have a potential to, unless I draw really poorly. That would be great. Yeah. Uh, also, it says that all heals targeting the target have no effect this round. To okay. signify this, I place one of my uh, character tokens on the target. Sure. I don't think that they are healing this round, but yeah. just to kind of follow the instructions of the card, we're going to do that. Okay. And I charge the earth element. Nice. So it is now strong. Oops, that's me. 
Okay, perfect. So uh, I need to get in range. So I'm going to be using my 30, this bottom, the care package, and it says move three. And then I can, I'm sorry, it's going to be power pitch. That's what I'm going to do for the move three. So I'm going to move uh, one, two, three. Okay. And then that charges the wind element. Uh, yep. So these get charged at the end of your turn. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, just so we don't forget that. And then uh, now I'm going to use the care package, the top side, and it's a two strength attack from a distance of three away. So I do have one, two, three to that chaos demon. So hopefully if I don't draw a negative, <laughs> we'll be good. Good luck. Okay, plus one. So a little overkill. Uh, so it's two plus one, so it's three. Uh, so it is overkill. So it's six plus that three is nine. This gets wiped <laughs> out. Yes, it is overkill. Yes, by just one. Why? Well, I, I just wanted to draw a do zero. The yeah. Yeah. Okay, so one loot goes right there. One loot does go there. And that, now this but that's room, one plus one clear. that I could have used towards another enemy. <laughs> that is okay. We're not, we're not yeah. thinking about overkill. <laughs> yeah. But now the room is clear. So yes. we are not, no longer at uh, in danger here. You just got to get past the traps. Mm -hmm. And then I have this right here. Heal two. Target one ally adjacent to the target of the attack. So there, there was that target that was here. So I believe you get to heal for two. Oh, nice. Thank you. So I'm back to full health. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's it. That's it. So, then, so yeah, now we charge, charge. wind. Perfect. And uh, that is me. So now the Chaos Demons are supposed to go, but because they're no longer there, there's no no more movement here. And Perfect. so we're going to end the turn by uh, making these a little bit weaker. Mm -hmm. And I must now shuffle my deck oh, yeah, because right. I drew that 2x. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that needs to be shuffled? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that's everything. All right, perfect. So I've shuffled that and we are ready to begin. So what's our plan? Uh, just breach the door as fast as possible. I mean, I'm really far. I'm one, two, three, four, five, six hexes away from the door. So you need to come quick. Yeah, as, as, <laughs> right? yes. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to open this door. As soon as I do, however, we're going to spawn some monsters. Or mm -hmm. the monsters are going to more like appear from the second room. Right. And so depending on which initiative value, they may <laughs> they may ruin our plans. So we'll see what happens. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three. 18. 28. All right. So you are first. It's me, yeah. And then let's see. Nope. Uh, no, yeah, nothing. Not yes, yet, that's not right. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just do. You scared me this. for a second there. I know, I know. I'm so used to it. We'll just put that out of place. So uh, I am very far from that door, which is kind of the next step. So I'm going to do this bottom action of my second wind, which is basically just move three. So okay. I'm going to go one, two, three on top of that coin. Nice. Uh, and then it does say add two move and gain one experience if I killed an enemy this round, which yeah. has not happened. So right. uh, that is that card. And then the next one is the favorite. So this one is, is pretty interesting. It's a top action here. So this this card is basically a setup card. I can uh, take one of my character tokens and place it on here. And then in the future for a ranged attack, I can target a specific uh, monster and basically get, deal a plus three extra damage. And then I can go retrieve that token and kind of reuse it again. So it's kind of like a boomerang almost. Yeah, like a boomerang. Once they've back. been defeated, they drop the token and exactly. then you gotta run over there, pick it pick up, it up yeah. so that you can throw it again. Exactly. Okay, this is a perfect time to, to set that up, I think. Yeah, it's a setup because I, I'm not even progressing anywhere further yeah. forward. So I'm gonna keep this kind of up here a little high so I don't forget. Let me place one of my handy dandy character tokens <laughs> on it so I don't forget. And I get two experience for putting it out there. Nice. There we go. Awesome. Cool. So that means I'm going to be opening the door. Waha. The door. All right. So let's do that. I'm going to start with my explode card, but I'm using it for a movement okay. of four. Nice. And before I forget, I get this little loot. Oh, yeah. Right yes. You got some You it's, got some money. It's mine. Okay. So uh, I'm going to do this movement of four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Nice. And uh, I'm actually going to spend my weathered boots, so you which is my item. The door. That gives me plus one movement to a single movement. I can reset this if I long rest. We'll see if I end up long resting. Sure. Just for one additional movement. And before I continue my turn, we must spawn the baddies. Yes. Okay. So we need two regular chaos demons. Okay. So those basically the two chaos demons come back. Yeah. Uh, uh, ju no, just one uh, because we're playing a two-player game. Oh, yeah, that's yep. right. Thank uh -huh. you. Thank you for reminding me. That is yep. blank up there. So yep. one chaos demon and one uh, elite zealot. zealot. Yes. So it's going to go there. And we're gonna use this little yellow, yellow token to kind of signify that it's elite. Perfect. And now we must draw their cards. Mm -hmm. So let's do the Chaos Demon first. Uh, 52. 52, okay. So I had played a 28. Oh, it doesn't matter because you you already went. I've already gone, yeah. So. And now we have to figure out for the Zealot. Uh-huh. 
Uh, 46. Okay. Okay. So, so the zealot's going to go first before the chaos demon. So and they're both going to go after I finish my turn. In. There we go. Yep. All right. So now that I'm here, hello, enemies, <laughs> I'm going to do the top action here, which allows me, it's called load, uh, lob charge. I can create one three damage muddle trap in an empty hex within a range of three. Nice. So the reason why I spent that extra movement was so that I can go one, two, three, okay. and maybe place it there. Sure. But now I'm realizing, I don't know if they're going to go around it. I was kind of counting on that <laughs> that monster to be there. Well, let's see. Is the Chaos Demon moving this turn? They are. They are, yeah. So it might be a good idea to just place it there then. And I'm thinking that this is a good spot because uh, although enemies will try to avoid traps as much as possible, from what I understand, they will still step into them if it is their only option to, to, try to, to get you. to you to yeah. attack. Mm -hmm. And so, unfortunately, that means they're still going to attack me. So let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, that means I wasted my weathered boots, but oh well. That's okay. So let's create a three damage trap. So can you put a trap right here, please? Sure. Yeah. And it's going to have a three bit three damage as well as a muddle. Nice. So this is a, a double punch here. This will be good. And that's pretty much all that happens during my turn. I also get to charge uh, fire. Right. So this is now strong. Gosh, and now I'm looking now I'm looking at their cards here. I charged fire, and yeah. that means that the zealot's gonna get me good. Mm. Ooh. So the zealot won't be moving because there is no move action on their ability card here. Uh, they have a range of two, but they'll also gain an extra two range uh, with the fire. So they're gonna spend fire. So they're spending the fire that I infused the battlefield with. What was I thinking? Yeah, and so, so they do have the range now. One, two, three, four, which is a two plus two. So uh, you are a target. They also target two different people, but because Naveen is safe, then it's just me. Yes, so, so their attack strength, because they're an elite, is a three minus one to the modifier, so it's two. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and flip this over. Come on, minus two. Uh, Zero. So what is the total attack then? Uh, two. So I take two damage. Two you. And you get muddled. All right. <laughs> Thanks uh, for the reminder. <laughs> I, you're so, my teammate. I don't want you I to think, be muddled. Is that the only thing that happens, muddle? Uh, yes, and I have to find okay. this question mark. Where Perfect. are you, question mark? All right, and here is your muddle. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So I am muddled. I have a health of six. Yeah. And But now the, uh, cha the chaos demon, or sorry, the zealot is done. Yes, they so, are. So... Let's now resolve the Chaos Demon. It looks like they are going to move, which they is do. fantastic, mm -hmm. because they're going to step right into my trap. Nice. So They have a three move, uh, but it's a minus one. But it doesn't matter, because they're matter. only going to move one space to get closer to me. Yep. So they step right into my trap. They're going to take a three damage, and they are also now muddled. Okay, and what number is that that we have for the Chaos Demon? Uh, four. four. Okay, so they're, so they're four right plus into muddled. There. Okay. Uh, and then <laughs> they're going to attack me. Again. Yeah, so their attack is actually three plus one with this Ooh, modifier. A four. Yeah, but they are disadvantaged. Hopefully the blank comes out. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is too early for me to go down that quick. I'm so far from you. I, I Yeah. And that's it. They're not going to be able to do the element attack. Okay, so let's see. Let's see my fate. Okay. Well, so we draw cards. two of these. So, okay, minus one. That's a good thing. And then minus one. So okay. it's a three hit to you. Three hit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wow. am, I have had, I have three health. So yeah. just letting you know, if you have any uh, healing abilities in there, uh, I would welcome that. Yeah. So the Chaos Demon has three damage. Mm -hmm. We need five more damage on that monster right oh my gosh and i was supposed to be wounded yeah, by the zealot yeah oh this my is bad, gosh man. this is bad so at the start of my turn Yeesh. i'm gonna uh take a damage unless i can heal it i mean i'm gonna take the damage regardless you can now you can always discard a card to avoid all damage yeah but that card will be lost uh, yes so i don't know if i'm ready for that just yet okay what's your health total uh three. Oh. if you can go before me and heal me by any chance uh that would be that would be greatly appreciated so anyway let's end this <laughs> this round we're going to weaken these two now no elements are charged i regret charging anything <laughs> infusing the battlefield with anything wow all right so then we begin again i have three cards in my hand which means i you could long rest but you're I just could, a sitting duck if that's i could case. long rest but i would be long resting with initiative of like 99. Yeah. So I would have to survive to my turn. Yes. Take that. <laughs> no. I don't think you can. Ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous. I don't like my numbers here. Well, I am declaring a long rest. <laughs> yeah, so you yeah. better like your numbers. Um, I'm kind of desperate. I only have oh, three yeah. health. 
I am wounded, so I'm going to take one damage every oh, turn, unless I can heal that. So I'm taking some chances here. I'm, I'm doing a long rest. Okay. All so. right. Well, uh, I'm playing 35. So 35 is... <laughs> oh, no. This is really bad. <laughs> 35. Really, really bad. Okay. So okay. Zealot, 82. Okay. That's okay. good. That's okay. very good. Oh, they have range. That's not good. Uh, and then the demon, the chaos demon is... 98, okay. okay. Okay, okay. So you're first. I'm first. Then the zealot. Then the zealot. Chaos demon. And then, and then you. me. I need to survive. You are a turn. sitting duck. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, oh, man. Well, the zealot's not going to move. No, but they have a range attack. Yeah. I don't think they can reach me. They can't reach you. So <laughs> I have this fateful compass that I was really trying to throw them into uh, into these pits over here, but that would put them in range, so I'm not going to do it. Woo! <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm first, so I have to move. So I'm going to use the stopping power to move three. Uh, so we're going to go one, two, three. Uh, I could jump if I wanted to, but there's no uh, no need to do any of that. It would just be over fancifying myself. <laughs> uh, immobilize. There's no enemies within the hexes that I just crossed through, so we can just completely negate that. Uh, I will be charging the um, the wind element, okay. and I do gain an experience. So let's go ahead and do oh, that. Oh, okay. Well, at least there's that. Yeah, there's that. Okay, and then I will be trashing this card altogether. So this one's out of the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it into my lost pile. Okay. So the next one I'm using is the follow through, the top action here. I have an attack strength of two with a range of four. And it says add two attack and gain one experience if the target token has your favorite token, which is this one. So this target, I am targeting this one with that. It's going to be two plus two, so four. Yep. Plus three for having this here. So a total of seven attack. I better not draw that negate all attack card because if that happens, let's just pack it up. Yeah, let's just okay. pack it up. Bye, right, Gloomhaven. Set, go. go. Okay, zero. So that's perfect. That's perfect. I, I would have liked a negative two. That would have been great because I would have got it out of my deck, but we just Beggars get me choosers. <laughs> so they're out. So, so yeah, we we hit them for 10 total. Okay, so yeah. these this one's out and we they drop a loot. They drop a loot and my little axe is there. So now you have to, for your favorite token, you need to go over there and pick it up, pick it up that's right? That's the goal, yeah. Okay, so that's... So that's out. Perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it for your turn? That is it. Yeah, I do gain an, uh, I do gain a, um, an experience? experience for doing all this. And you also infuse the battlefield with? I did, uh, with, with this wind element right over here. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So now wind is strong. Yes. Okay. okay so, so who's next? That was me. Is it the, the, well, yeah, the Chaos Demon is gone. So now there's chaos only the Zealot. Gone. Yep, they're out. The thing that's great about this is the Zealot looks like it, they're not going to move. No. So we are not within range. They only have a range of three, mm -hmm. according to the unholy flame. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So uh, that's it. Nobody nobody gets attacked. Yes, they do charge the flame, though, which is good for you. It is. It, I do I do have some cards that will yeah. uh, utilize that, but mm -hmm. that is perfect. Oh, my gosh. I feel like we just, like, dodged, <laughs> dodged a big-time bullet. Yeah. So then it goes to my turn, right. and unfortunately, I have this wound. So it is the start of my turn. Even if it's a long rest, I still take that damage. So I right. go down to two health. Okay. But now I'm going to do my long rest, and it's going to heal me of this wound. Yep. Um, I'm not technically doing anything else on my turn, so I'm going to remove this muddle token as well. Right. <laughs> and uh, because I did a long rest, I gain... Two health. Two health. So I am now at four. Four. Okay, you're halfway <laughs> which there. Which is better than three. Yeah. But now I have to remove one of my cards. I lose one of my cards that I get to choose from my discard. Just your crummiest card. All right, I am going to lose this card, which is the big one. Yeah. <laughs> that might be controversial for some, but yes, for reasons. <laughs> I'm getting yeah. rid of that. And because it's a long rest, I also get to refresh my weathered boots. Your boots. So I believe... That's it. Okay. I am now uh, revitalized right. and ready to take on the next next round. Yes. So that's everybody. Okay. Uh, we are going to weaken the these two elements. Yep. And I think this these, guys these both the, yeah, yeah both of them get shuffled. You want to shuffle that one? Sure. Okay. So we just have one one last baddie in this room, which is the the friendly zealot. Yes. The elite friendly zealot. By the way, this chaos demon was dead. So that's perfect. Gone, yeah. And I'm thinking this zealot wants to do a little bit more than have a conversation, right? <laughs> so That's there's right. that. All right. So there's the zealot. So, so I'm taking the Chaos Demons marker out because they are done done. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't even know why we had you shuffle that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so planning wise, you know, obviously we're going to push forward. Yes. And try to defeat this person. If you have a health, it would be nice for uh, you to heal me. I need to short rest then. I'm going to short rest. So I, I'm not allowed to pick this one up. I'm allowed to pick up the discard. So I'm going to do Whoa. that. 
Before you do, oh, you, yes. can, you can only, yeah. That's right. These two are not part of it, right? Yes. yes. You, you lose a, a random card from, from your discard. From my discard. Okay. That's a close one. <laughs> That's true, yeah. All right. It's this one right here. Uh, extra life. Extra lift. Or extra lift, yeah. So this is the one that allows me to move really far, which would have been really nice uh, going into the so room. So you can lose a health if you'd like to randomly select another card, and you can only do that once. So you'd still be taking a chance uh, and losing a health. What are your thoughts? Should I do it? Oh, I don't know. Every card feels important. I feel like a move four is fantastic. Oh, I, I like this card. I like the ability to move. So I'm going to lose a health to discard another card randomly. Oh. So now my eight goes to seven. Uh, all right. So this is the only, this is it. Whatever you randomly select, that's that's, that's your fate. That's one. Ooh, oh man, okay. Heal six uh, to myself. Oh no. Okay. And it's 18 priority. Wow, that'd have been great. So that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> We're just gonna. It's gonna be all or nothing. That's all that that's means. That's what that means. We also don't really have a choice. Yeah. So what what's your health right now? Uh, seven. So I, you know, okay, fairly healthy health. individual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to hear. Please heal me then, if uh, you're not yeah. gonna heal yourself. Okay. So since you want to heal, uh, if you can end up. Here, that would be really nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just end up there. So without giving away cards in hand yes. or initiative numbers, right? I will do my best to end up right there. End up right there. Okay. So end up there and attack. Okay. Yeah. So. Chip away a little if you can. All okay. ready? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. One, two, three. Reveal. Thirty. Nineteen. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 So I've nineteen. Uh, but the question is, where is the zealot? The zealot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. 46. Okay, this okay. is good. So That's great. So it's you, me. You, then me, then the zealot. Okay. Uh, this is perfect. Okay, good. Perfect. Good, good, good. Uh, the zealot has a health of eight. They are, okay. full, they are fully healthy, and they are going to muddle if we don't uh, do anything about it. No, they're going to wound. Oh, I'm sorry, wound. I was like the chaos demon, yeah. Worse, I think. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to go first. And uh, what I think I'm going to do is... I'm going to move, so I'm going to do the explode card, but I'm going to use it for its move action. Sure. I'm just going to do the, the two move that you requested. Okay. So I'm going to go one, two. Good. And then with my other card, I'm going to use the explosive blitz to do a two attack that's a range of four. Nice. So this is good because we are we are within range. Nice. Uh, I don't think I have any conditions, so just whatever it is up top. Come on. No ah. zero. Okay, okay. That's good. I meant, no, I meant no blank out. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that. Zero blank out. Okay, good. So that's uh, two damage, correct? Yep. Okay. Two damage to the Zealot, and I infused the battlefield with just a little bit more fire more than there fire. was earlier. This is a very fiery situation at yeah. the moment. Yeah. Uh, and that's me. So that's I'm going to go ahead and discard these. Okay, so you went, and so now it's me. So I have a care package and extra lift. So I'm going to do <laughs> the extra lift first. Okay. Uh, so this one says, on your next four move abilities, I add plus two. So I'm going to put my little uh, marker on top of this right here. So that's going to signify... So I, I get four move, but I'm actually going to stop short one, two, three. So that way I can pick up this hatchet thing over here. Your favorite token. My favorite <laughs> token. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to stop there. Uh, and then I'm, so that's that. This stays in play for a bit, basically four uh, turns because it's going to slide down. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do with a care package, care package at the top, which says, um, well, actually, before I do this, I'm actually going to use my item. This is the Fateful Compass I have from an earlier campaign. It says, during your turn, force one enemy within three, one, two, three, to move two by me controlling it. So I'm going to force it to move into this trap, one, two, right here. So nice. now it's going to take a three hit from that trap. So wow. now it's at five. This trap goes out. It's going to hang out here. That's awesome. And the reason why I had to do this in this order was because if I attacked it first, you would not be adjacent to heal it. Oh, so okay. I needed it to get adjacent to you. So this is done. This is trash. That is out for me. Well, it's it just out for the scenario. For the scenario. Get it back at the, I would yeah. technically get it back. We yes. need that. <laughs> uh, yes, in the future, yes. So now I'm going to do a uh, two attack at a range of three, and then I will be able to heal you after. Perfect. So I need to Good draw. Luck. Yes. Nice. Two plus Beautiful. one is three. So Mwah. that is exactly the eight that we needed. It was exact? Exact. Ah, yeah, perfect. Eight. Okay, so one Ooh. loot will go right there. One loot will go there, yes. And uh, that was nice because nice. that was a terrible, terrible, and terrible You enemy. get to heal two uh, because that's what this says right here. Nice. Target one ally adjacent to the target that I attacked. You were adjacent. All right, so now heal. I'm at six. That's right. Yes, you're at six, I'm at seven. So we, we got you to survive a little. Now I'm going to loot. So I'm going to take the money that I stood on top of. And in addition to that, I can loot. And now this hatchet comes right back to my favorite. 
so I can use it in the future. <laughs> yes, your favorite token has My returned. My favorite token. So this stays in play as well. This is that extra moves uh, in the future, and so this goes into my discard. Perfect. Woo! All right, that's great. That because no enemies uh, take any moves, and uh, that's the end of that turn. So these weaken, so no more wind element. That's uh, okay. Fire just becomes a little bit weaker. So we are... We got to storm this and get into there. Yeah, I'm thinking about how we're going to do it. So <laughs> we are now approaching this last room here that has the blood tumor, who is the terrible, terrible, uh, stinky, stinky boss. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think the only the only answer here is storm push, the gates. Push through, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I am going to try to do a big punch in the beginning. Okay. So I'm going to try to give it all I've got right now I... to see if we can deplete its lives as much as we can in yeah. the front end. Well, this is public knowledge. I, I have my favorite token back, so I'm definitely going to try to target the uh, the boss with it. All right. So then let's right. uh, let's, <laughs> let's, let's see out. what happens. I will say though that I need to go first in order for my plan to work. Without giving anything else You'd away. You'd like to go early. I need to go before you. Oh, uh, I don't so know your deck. <laughs> just uh, just so you know. All right. right. Here goes nothing. Ready? Sure, yeah. One, two, three. 60. 20. Oh, okay, okay. Perfect. Dang it. <laughs> Why? Well, 60 is quite a bit. because So you're keep gonna... the 60 on top, yes. just so we know where, where the other yeah. uh, enemies lay. Dang, I should have played my 24. <laughs> so, you know, we know the Chaos Shoot. Demon is no longer... Uh, no longer available. So let's just replace that. Yeah, the Chaos Demon's out, out, because it won't respond in this game. So we're going to do some prep work for the Blood Tumor. Knowing what we know, yeah. Well, I guess let's open the door first, yeah, right? Yeah, go ahead. Do your thing. All right, then. I'm going to start with my Lobbed Charge. I've been waiting all game to play this card. Okay. And so this is this is an awesome card. It says I can move up to four. Okay. And then I'll be able to do a really big hit. So I'm going to go... I'm, I'm actually going to add my Weathered Boots to that. Nice. So then it's going to be a total of five movement. Okay. We're going to go one, two, three, four, four five. five. Nice. And before we continue, Doors let's open. activate this room. Let's reveal it. <sighs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Who do you want to reveal first? Do you want to uh, the minions first or the big boss? Let's do the Zealots. Let's okay. save the big boss for last. Okay, so we know the Zealots. Uh, so they are back. Two, two basic Zealots. We don't two have any... Zealots. Any uh, wound-giving <laughs> elite zealots, which is nice. Okay, so zealot t number two and zealot number four for designation over there. Hello. How Hello. are you both doing? <laughs> and okay. then we have the, the blood tumor. The, the blood tumor, the boss. Okay, so the boss is in. Uh, it's going to be right there. This one's interesting. It's The health that we have to damage it is a total of 20. It's yes. 10 times the number of players. Exactly. But... It's going to start with wounds that are equal to four times the number of players. So it's going to start already with eight total uh, damage to it. So we really only need to hit it 12 times. And oh, so, 12 times. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot better. Than you thought? Than my mind was thinking. Yeah. So we won't be able to stun, muddle, or disarm right. the blood tumor. Right, right, so right. all of your muddling plans out the window. <laughs> sure. Okay, we also have a boss deck that's coming in. Nice and shuffled. All right, so let's reveal, let's do the Zealot first. Sure, come on, high number. 35. 35. Well, I played a 20. Yeah, you did. So I'm still I'm still before, I, oh, you played a... I played a 60. See, this is where I regret not playing that 24. Yeah. But that is a okay. I'm willing to sacrifice myself for the good of the team. Yeah. <laughs> the boss is 85. Hey, that's okay. great. So, oh, and this is going to be, when it gets to the boss's turn, they're going to do their, their special one move, which is healing. Yes. You're going to heal for two. And of course, we need the boss. The blood tumor. To make an appearance. <laughs> Look at that thing. Yeah, I can smell it. I'm right next to this thing. <laughs> okay, so back to my turn. I move for five. And it says that I can designate one adjacent enemy. So I'm going to designate the blood tumor. Nice. If each of the hexes of movement that I just moved brought me closer to that enemy, nice. I get to attack it for that many, Perfect. essentially. So I'm going to do a five attack. Um, and then I can push it if that is part of the plan. So sure. let's do, let's see what's in store no, for us. No, no blank. No blank. Okay. Perfect. Zero is fine. So, so uh, five hit? I, I hit it for five. Yes. That is very good. Very, very I'm good. I'm just going straight for the blood tumor, which is a good thing that we went for the blood tumor first because uh, we forgot to mention that the, uh, upon the special rules of this room yes. is any time any figure other than the blood tumor suffers damage, the blood tumor will also heal that amount of damage. Right. So had we attacked either Zealot, then uh, any damage the Zealots take will will be healing. Yes. You know, will be damage that you remove from the blood tumor. Yeah, so, so we lose if the blood tumor fully heals. So yes. we really want to focus our attack on that blood tumor. Okay, so would you like me to push the blood tumor? I have a push of up to two. 
so I my move here is going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So, you know what? Actually, let's uh, not. I just realized my other card here is a melee attack. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't be able to do it if I were to do that. Yeah. So then that's it. I gain one experience for the card. Nice. And the card is now lost. Okay. That was my one, my one, yeah, hold on one moment it. in the limelight there. <laughs> nice. And then I'm going to do the top action of my knock out the support card. So this is a melee attack of three. Oh, nice. Uh, this is the same card that I played earlier. All heals targeting that target have no effect this round. So I'm just going to place this so that it can't heal this round. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and so let's see what's in store. Okay. Okay. So, so there's another, another three, huh? three damage. Okay, here we go. So that's not bad. I dealt eight. It started with eight. Yeah, so it's at 16. 16. You only need to hit it for four. Okay. Ooh, okay. You can do this. I, I, yeah, I could. So um, um, it's actually the Zealot's next, though, because you're Well, I infuse the battlefield with Earth. Earth. So that's it. I have... Uh, I, I'm done. I hope... I really hope that you can defeat this tumor. You know, that's not bad. That yeah. was that was a pretty good... That was a great little combination you had there. Thank you. So who's next? Uh, so it is going to be the Zealot, okay. then me, and then the boss. So. I feel good about that because they might take me out now. <laughs> yep. So we're going to start <laughs> with Zealot number two. Uh huh. And it looks like they are technically supposed to move. It's not a range attack, so right. they're already adjacent to me. So they're just going to emit the yep. movement. Uh, and then they're going to attack me. They're they both going to attack me. They are both going to attack you. So we'll resolve one at a time each. So it's two, but then minus one because of this uh, this uh, hasty assault. Okay. So it's only for one. Okay. That's so not bad. So would you like to pull the sure. modifiers? Zero. Minus Perfect. one, minus one. Okay, that's so nice. that's the first one. So then same exact thing. For number four. So it's going to be uh, one one hit. Okay. Not bad. I am good with that. Okay, so what's your health at? Five. Okay, and my health is at seven. So, okay, let's go ahead and start. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm blocking the way now. I'm like literally right, you know. <laughs> well, I'm all range. I can but... smell their breath. I'm yeah. so close. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm all range. They're, 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 I, don't, I don't even think I, I brought in any melee cards into this scenario. So I knew I liked this you. Is, this is good, yeah. <laughs> so okay. I'm going to do this the bottom action here on center mass. It's okay. going to be move three. So we're going to go one, two, three. But because I have that extra lift card playing over here, I'm going to move it down, and then I get uh, an extra two moves. So I'm going to nice. go one, two. So I'm in. I'm in with you. Uh, and then <laughs> yeah. I guess because I do this, I get a uh, experience point for doing that. Yes. Whenever, well, whenever your token leaves the spot. Leaves, leaves the spot. Leaves the that's spot. right. That's yeah. right. So I will get one. That's that. And then that was this card. I am going to not uh, choose to push uh, an adjacent enemy because I'm not next to one. <laughs> so okay. that's that. And then I have my power pitch right here. This is attack six with a range of three. So this is definitely within range. Plus, I'm going to lock on to the blood tumor as my favorite. So I have an attack <laughs> of nine. Your favorite blood tumor. As long as I don't draw that negate the attack, I think we're good. Uh, <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Ready? Go. Time Times two. two. Okay. Wow. So I... that's a nine times two. That's 18. Yeah. You almost did it yourself. <laughs> yeah, That's we took it. him out. The blood wow. tumor is, no is more. out, and that was the only that was the only uh, goal of this scenario. Yeah, it doesn't even get to take a turn because it's gone. Gone. Yes, goal: kill the blood tumor. Done. Done. Stench is potentially still present in the room. We still don't know where the blacksmith is. That's right. But technically, at least <laughs> the blood tumor is gone. Yes. So, in addition to that, if you're continuing on with the uh, with the campaign. Because I played this card, I would get a two experience. Oh, yeah. very good. All right, so at this point, you would now write down all the things you've earned, including the money that you've looted, the experience right. points. You would technically finish out the turn. Had any other enemies needed to move, you would still need to survive it, right. which I believe we're, we're done. Yeah, because it was me going third, the zealots had already gone, and then we defeated the boss, yes. meaning the boss does not have a turn. So then you would log all of the loot that you picked up, the experience you've earned, and uh, resolve an event card. Yep. And then you would be able to continue your journey through Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. Number six, yeah. Yep. Did you uh, complete your objective? We started the game with oh, an yes. objective that we didn't talk about. I did not. Okay. <laughs> well, did I? Read it. Did I do a short rest? I, I had the straggler objective, never short rest. Did you never short rest? You long rested. I don't remember. I don't remember now. <laughs> Well, had I completed this, then I would be able to do a little checkmarky thing. But that was my objective. Okay, mine was the 
Conservator. Uh, never lose a card to negate suffer damage. Oh, I did do this. Fantastic. Good right? job. Yes, yeah, good job. Thank you all so much for joining us today for our playthrough. We hope you enjoyed it. Now, we do have plans to be back here in the future, but in the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, you can always check out our channel, which is in the description below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe here as well. And if you're interested in solo gaming, Paula has a wonderful Table for One series here on Watch It Played. And until next time, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.